Welcome back, Survivors. I'm the Survivalist, and we return for another week of Jurassic Park Trespasser with our first episode. Now that I've had a little bit of time since the last recording session, cooled down, let the head kind of clear a bit, I can definitely look back on some things and the lessons learned. First of all, be sure to save early and often, and if you ever recommend the game to anyone, be sure to mention you do not have checkpoints, because it will probably be very appreciated by them playing if they run into either get killed by, like, unintentionally, like my jumping off on the first episode of last week, or, like, having the turret sort of bug out as it did for controls. Just let them know that you kind of make your own checkpoints and you can save as often and whenever you want. So there's that. Another one is, I can definitely see the good aspects of the game and where, like, everything works well. Aiming actually with a lot of the weapons and, like, hand controls aren't that bad. It does help to keep yourself a little cheat sheet or some way of referring to that. But there are some parts, like, seem to be the turret, uh, sniper rifle, kind of those to control can still be very janky and awkward, and that's where I think the game has definitely earned a little bit more of its infamy for, like, being a bit of a bad experience at times. I definitely say the majority of the experience is pretty well and solid so far. It's just that those little bits can be frustrating if you come across them, and if you don't do kind of like what I did trying to just sneak out or avoid it altogether, it might prove to be a little bit too much for some people play. Okay, but let's see what this actually is. So this is the burrows? Okay, um... Now, I know one thing I was also suggested, or people mentioned in the comments, was to, like, explore a bit more freely and don't always focus too much on linear going between the levels and, like, getting to the next one. Because there might be some side things to discover or come across that I think a lot of people would be very happy if I could find and show off while I do the series. So, I mean, stuff like this, maybe there's something here, or... Actually, maybe there is something to this. This looks like a pipe we might be able to... Oh. Was I actually supposed to come in through here? Oh. Uh, maybe not, given we've got no weapons so far. And we've got him right there. Uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I think he knows we're here. I don't know if he'll be able to get after me, so maybe I'm just going to back my way up through here. I still like the physics of these guys as they try to, like, figure out their way around. Yeah, I'm just going to leave him behind, and I'll try the door instead. But it might be little stuff like that, where just look around, explore, and see what you can find. If... Yeah, I don't have anything firearm-wise. If I had a way to take him out, I'd probably stick over there. But I don't want to have a raptor bite in my butt as I keep just trying to get through a simple area. So let's try this door here. Because I think it has a handle to it. And to bring out the hand is G. Or at least that's what I've got the key bind as. Oh lordy. Okay, so it is a little weird at times. I'm sorry. Well, then I'm just going to... Oh, well, speak up. Okay. Security system. Looks like that's still active. Well, I guess... Shots. I guess that does explain... Eight left. Why we do have the storm pipe over here, or the drain pipe. So we do actually have to go this way. Here, I thought this was just something tucked so far along it didn't have any importance. But, actually, we do need it. And now we got a way to deal with the Red Raptor, or I'm trying to think of what I'd call it. I almost want to call it like a diamond back, but I don't think it's quite like a diamond shape along the back for those red spots on this Raptor. Although it sounds like he's still around here. I'm trying to think of what animal sort of has, or if they're... Um... Okay, do I have to, like, throw that through? Why can I not get in here? Eight shots. Okay, there we go. Yeah, the physics do take some time to... 
I, yeah, I think he's been... Oh, lordy. Okay, so I have to say crouch if I want to. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to think of what animal has, like, a similar path to Six. him. There we go. Okay, now we're safe to come. Oh, no! Well, this is interesting up ahead. God, the music ambience or, like, cues can be pretty strong in coming forward. We sealed off the town, save for a few crucial gates. Southward to the lowlands, eastward to the power plant and laboratory. Hmm, I wonder, can I open this, or do... Actually, maybe I need a key or card or something to open that gate. Uh, okay, let's check out the sign. Uh, welcome to Burroughs. Visitors, please register at Operations Center. So, if we're here, we gotta follow... Okay, follow the road down, and then I think we'll want to take a left? I'm trying to think because of, like, uh, the view. Well, you know what? We'll just wander around and see. It should probably be a very notable building if we follow the... Road. Now, this I really think would have actually been really interesting to see in like a Jurassic Park movie or like part of the franchise on film. Having uh, dilapidated, empty towns contrasted with like the dinosaurs having taken over. Like, the Lost World, World's Worker Village isn't bad, but I feel like the set piece of like all the buildings that is so overshadowed by the action that happens be more interesting kind of like how they again they only like tease it it's also in like fallen world or sorry not fallen world uh jurassic world fallen kingdom where when they return to uh the park and see like how the compies and the brachiosaurus are around that site well there are a lot of these uh red splotch ones the funny thing was how easy it was nobody stops you just Get on the bus and watch the highway start moving. The whole world before you. I guess it's not a vacation if you don't know when you're coming back. Okay, so well, that's just a regular raptor, so it should be easy enough to deal with. But yeah, this, I can see, is really interesting to have the contrast here. And then again, aiming's not too bad. Okay, so two's enough to put that one down. I am just going to check around some of the buildings, see if we can find better equipment. No, oh, speaking of. Anybody in? Oh, I actually got a washroom. Uh, eh, come here. I'm going to see if I can actually, like, drop One that left. in the toilet. There we go. Well, on the toilet, because of how the model hitboxes in that work. Eight left. I'll definitely be taking this, though. This should help us when it comes to the, uh... I'm going to think of a better name. Like, I thought Diamondback would have been kind of fitting, but they don't have the pattern as much as I thought. So we've got the Tiger Stripe Tribe, which seemed to be the easiest to deal with. Yeah. It, uh, it actually does feel like a proper village. Where is the goddamn phone? I want out of here. I want diet soda. I want copy machines and juice boxes and cartoons. Okay, I thought there was something heavier moving around, but maybe it's just how they... Radio, phone, can with a string. Maybe it's just how, like, they sound as they're on the pavement. Ooh. You know what? I got it. If it's, uh, like, with the physics the game has, I have Good to chance. try this. I just want to make sure... Okay. Oh, well. I didn't mean to, uh, like, throw that per se, but... You know I've got to try if it's going to let me do this. First shot. Oop. A little too high and the ball doesn't exactly bounce, but... No, oh, no, come here. Alright, where is my hand? There it is. Snag the ball. Keep you held up. And then maybe like that. Now that's too low. Come on. Give me the ball. Thank you. Bring her up. 
Okay, how about that? Hey, there we go. So what, that took us two tries? Eight shots. I have to get it on third. Oh, and I feel like I could use that telephone pole to get onto that building for something. Let's just keep looking around. Ooh, what is this? Oh, this is where Hammond stayed when he was on the... No. Oh, I think I need a red key card. I know, it just has like the color coding that I... I feel like it was common for the 90s games with like adventure or that. I don't know what's with the floating telephone lines, but I guess the game. Oh. Okay, I do want to try getting across or up this. Although, yeah, this is where the physics could be a little. Hello? Janky to work with, although. Actually, I don't know what coming up here. I guess this might have been a way to be safer, like, dealing with the raptors. Okay, but it does show that... Oh, I can't... Oh! You get some Has really nice things for exploring. Although... This does feel like an area where they could have just tucked... Looks like they stripped it before they took off. Oh, and what is... That looks different than... Six rounds. Okay, I feel like that's a super strong, uh weapon so you know what five rounds left I'll toss the shotgun and take volume Feels of fire cool. more so and let's get out of this one I do wish you had a way of like storing both weapons at a time so that way it's easier to kind of go through some of these buildings but I think it kind of is what it is and oh, I even had a church here I feel like this big open area is... You know, I'm actually going to save here, just because we have gone a little ways. Not a lot, but I feel like the big open area could easily have something big show up for it. Okay, good to resume. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything in here. Okay, let's go check out the church. I don't actually think that's where we're supposed to be going. But with how big it is, it just feels... Ooh. Okay. Well, aiming isn't that bad, although... Are you trying to hide behind the lamppost? There we go. Oh, what do we got here? Manager's office hours, Monday to Friday, 12 to 3. Please use rear entrance during services. Ah, oh. Well, there's a bit of a hole in the middle. Oh, I wonder if something, like, crashed through. Anything in here? Oh! Indeed there is, although I don't know why the desk is so freaking ginormous. Okay, you know what? I guess we'll drop that. Because I need the key core. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my god. Yeah, talking about, again, where the physics can be a little wonky. Okay, so we gotta hold on to that. I don't think I've seen any blue doors yet, though. And stairs are a little awkward to, uh, use, so... Okay. No, no, and get back here. I don't know why you're going all the way over there. Um... A few random boxes, but I don't think anything there. Ooh. Six left. I'm gonna take this. What are you? Five rounds left. Oh, it actually has, like, I think that's a reflex site. Or, or it might be a red dot. Actually, it's probably a red dot site, given that big red dot in the middle of it. Okay, but we got the key card. 
Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a little finicky for, like, picking and detecting stuff. So is this the rear entrance it talked about? Oh. oh it is kind of opening. Five shots. Okay, it only has five shots, but I'm guessing they are some strong shots. And if I put that away, do I take out the key card? I do, but my hand is way over there. Five shots. Okay, so let's see where we can find a blue key card. Building the town was hard. Costa Rican contractors were competent people, but they had to be transported, fed, housed, and afterwards bound to silence. Ooh. Okay, well, we got an in-general store. That's a little bit of a neat little quirk to have for it. Maybe that big building down there is what we're after. Yeah, it seems to kind of be the best way to open doors. It's just like give them a nudge. And yeah, we got quite a few things around building-wise to explore, but for the most part, it looks like it's all just if you want, if you need more weaponry. The game's been very generous in making sure you have the means to, like, defend yourself. Okay, let's get our way to that building and see. Even a gas station with actually a mechanic and gas or garage, sorry. Uh, do I, I try like this? Tiles are cracking, smeared with windblown dirt and animal tracks. Thick tree roots <laughs> through the asphalt. Aha, uh -huh, you can't use stairs. Sound settles itself, beginning to erase all trace of us. Left to itself, the facility reverts to minimal power, chiefly battery-powered security systems. It can sustain itself almost indefinitely. Oh, really? Oh, there's radio. Yeah. Broken. No radio, no phone, no satellite. That's it, I'm dead. I wouldn't say dead, but it's not going to be as easy to... Uh, where'd my gun go? Oh, dang it. Come back here, you. Four shots. You're actually very powerful, so I don't want to lose you. It's just that it's a little janky opening stuff up. Animal con- ooh. Considering what we've been given so far for animal control... Well, I think we'll stick with what we got. Nice to know they're here, though. Oh, public notice. Uh, John Hammond, breakfast, Saturday, 7 a.m. Mountain top for data transfer and emergency calls only. Dennis, this means you. Probably meant to be a swear there. Oh. Henry, see me about returning the keys, John, and string quartet recital canceled due to evacuation. Okay, so the big one is probably the middle there. Mountain top for data transfer and emergency calls only. Oh, wait, I think I know what it... So, Dennis Nedry was probably the one making the calls out, considering it's calls only, dash, Dennis, this means you. And... Oh, right, I'm trying to also find a... Uh... The code for the front gate, perhaps. Although, wait, do I still need that? I don't know now. It's like we got in through the side entrance. Well, take another little look around here, although, you know what, I don't think that leads anywhere, so let's just pop out. No, oh, speaking of turrets, here's another one I could try. Um, oh no, that's just the billboard or the whiteboard we sort of saw. Let me just try going up here and see. There's got to be something I'm missing somewhere. Like, we did get the blue key card, so there's got to be somewhere that we put it. Oh, helipad. 
Uh, still gives me a bit of a view out over the area. I feel like I gotta get into John Hammond's place, and that might take us further. And I also should be careful going down the stairs, because with the physics, it might make it seem like we're taking fall damage when we're not trying to. Okay. Just want to try. How does this feel control from half. here? Yeah, so I think I actually need to not try moving my hand, and it's more so hand for up and down. But when it comes to left and right, I'd be better off moving my body. At least that's my Four guess. Shots. I'm probably going to have to rely on that eventually in this series, but for now, I think we're okay. So where else should I try going on? Are you alive or dead? Holy crap. Jeez, I don't know if he's alive or dead, if I'm Something honest. Tells me this isn't my ticket out of here. Uh, let me just grab another thing somewhere. God, I thought he was dead, but... I, can they... Uh-oh. Eight left. Water seeped into everything. Okay, I think there's another one somewhere... ...nearby. There you are. Okay, I think that's you taken care of. The other guy, I think he's dead now proper? But I swear, he was playing dead or something. Um... Okay, well, no phone or anything here, and it doesn't look like it has stairs to go up. Maybe I gotta go into this building next. Because I've got blue, I need to find red and figure out where... Oh, well, there's another weapon down there. Okay, that explains why the telephone pole's outside, because the stairs are broken in here. Oh. Oh, is that a bat? Yeah, it is. I'll try melee another time, after I've saved and we're not too pressed and just trying to figure out progress. Yeah, having an actual, like, overgrown town with the dinosaurs in it is really cool to just explore a bit and see. Okay, made it. So, is there anything I can find in these? Nothing here. Nothing in that. All oh, the doors got... Hang up. Oh, maybe that's the clue. It, is it just 111? Like, all the doors have one on them. Mm, I don't know if that would be the key or not. I feel like that might just be an asset that's being used over again. Oh, right. I gotta get down from this, too, safely. Um... Well, I guess the stairs are probably safe to go down. It's just I can't go up them. There we are. Okay. Uh, hmm. You know what? I'll try going down this road here. I'm trying to think if there's anywhere I haven't exactly been yet. That could be holding out what I'm looking for. There is another gate over there. But I don't know if I actually need to go through those. Oh, gee. Wait, is he alive again? Oh, we got... Okay, this is boarded up, or sealed off, so I can't do anything with that, would be my guess. I'm just going to drop this a moment and see. Yeah, no, my hand doesn't interact at all, so that's just sealed up. 
Six rounds. I guess I'll try going up by ham. Oh, actually, let me take a look at this now. Okay, well, that's kind of easily the operation center. We've been in there. Yeah, we'll leave... Well, maybe try to leave him there. I think he actually might be coming this way. I'm gonna try just going for a bit of a run. I've already taken down him at least twice now. Now, I'm trying to think, where could I use this blue key? Where he's in this town with no people, and the guy's really an astronaut. Hmm. I don't know if one of these random buildings actually has what I'm looking for or not. Well, maybe this will help. Uh. Maybe it's in operations, because, like, I do see the color codes for, like, the purple on the gates. Hammond's was a red one, and there is a blue. I'll try another look in there and see. It could be all this time I've been going in circles, and that's actually the main thing you're supposed to look for. Honestly, wouldn't be too surprised if that's the case. And are you properly dead, or do I have to put you down again? No, you... You know what? Maybe the weapon I had was like a tranquilizer gun instead. Like, the one that almost had, like, the two being... If you think it's, like, pneumatic in a way. Oh, I'll speak out. There it is. Yeah, I think that might be what the other gun was. It was actually a dart rifle. Okay, let me look around here a bit for... Here we go. Oh, I'm an idiot. Oh, lordy. But, that worked. Okay, so, gates. Henry Wu, North Gate, John Hammond, and the East Gate. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, I get Hammond's front door key card back from Wu. So Dr. Wu has that. And gate access. John Hammond will give all. Muldoon gives the north. LaFontaine gives the west. So... Um, anything else in here? That does go back a little ways, but... Okay, no, to nothing. Okay, let me take another look at this. So, woo... Actually, I don't see the... Oh, hang on. Can I actually press these? Okay, there's the buildings I can turn on and off. Uh, power. So I can see how the power runs. Data. Going off to there. And there are the gates there. Okay, so. Yeah, I need to get... I think Henry Wu's is in the area that I need the security code for. John Hammond's I need to get into. I think I need to find... Uh, I'm trying to think here. How am I supposed to figure this out? <laughs> Yeah, John Hamill has access to all of them. Well, Dune has access to the North Gate, and La Fontaine has access to the West Gate. So, do I have to find Muldoon or Fontaine? And then I think Wu's area that has, like, the key card, or the code for it, is the one that'll get Hammond's key, or, like, the key card he has. So, is there a way to figure out who has what? 
Okay, I can turn the buildings on and off, but they don't help me that much. Oh, and then there's A. Okay, I don't think I can use any more of what's there. And just in case, I'm going to leave the key card here. Since that's the only place I've seen use of it. So I think I want to actually go up and find the, uh... Four bullets. That map again. Maybe it'll list where people are. And it's just picking out the houses for what I need. So I need to look for Muldoon and Fontaine's. Ah, uh, yeah, before I get too sidetracked, even though I, that might even be one of the ones I need there. Ah, uh, we'll put that away since I think we've gone through every dinosaur in the town. And let's see... Ah, shoot. Doesn't really say anybody aside from... Yeah, that's Hammond's. The one across from it is Woo's, but I don't think I can get into Woo's yet. I'll head up, take a look, maybe save, and then next episode come back as I try to piece everything together. I'm not sure if it might be in one of these buildings. Actually, I wonder if I... Hmm... I was debating for a moment if I could actually, like, leap over the fence if I, like, find some boxes and bring them over, but I don't know if that'd be possible. Okay, yeah, so that's Hammond's, that's Woo's. And Woo needs what for his? Don't tell me it's blue. Looks like... No, it's broken. Okay. Maybe... Maybe if there's a phone line or a radio. Now oh, come on. Why can't I not... Oh, this might... Maybe this is actually the... Uh... Okay, so that's the gate that we saw that needs, like, the code to come in here. So maybe I'm not actually looking for the... Co oh, I don't think I need the code anymore. I need to figure out... I guess it just has to be another one of the buildings, so you know what? What I'll do is I'll save this episode here. We've made some progress, and next episode I'll check out some of the buildings I haven't hit yet, because it's got to be hidden here somewhere. It's just figuring out where. But thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Jurassic Park Trespasser. If you liked the video, you should give a like, and if you have any comments, tips, or tricks, be sure to leave the comments right down below. And until I see you in the next video, survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, and stay alive.